Right. And my name is Geetha. How can I help you? Hello Geetha. My name is Mr. Question. Actually I am. I am looking for some advice about my career. Can you help me? Sure. Mr. Question. What did you study? And what are you doing now? Geetha, I did complete my graduation in science and now I am looking for a job in information technology. I am actually confused on what career I should chose in IT. And finally, I chose to become a Unix system administrator. That is good. By the way, do you know what a system administrator? What they exactly do? And what to learn to become a perfect system administrator? Yeah. I know. System administrators actually manages the servers and networks. Someone told me to complete some certification to become a system administrator. But, I am not sure what certification I should do. I am wondering is there any such certification which makes me Unix system administrator? Okay then you know a little bit about system administration. Good. If you want to become a Unix administrator, you should know one thing first. Unix administrator is a generic term like doctor. When you say, I want to become a doctor, you should choose which type of doctor you want to become. For example, dentist, physician, surgeon or a heart specialist. In the similar manner when you say you want to become Unix administrator you should choose which flavor of Unix you want to be learn. Oh. Okay I don't know that. Can you give me a little more information about what are the different types Unix operating systems available in the market now? Sure, Mr. Question. There are four major types of Unix operating systems available in the market. 1. Solaris operating system provided by Oracle. 2. HPUX provided by HP. 3. IBM Mics provided by IBM. And, finally, the last one is Linux. Linux has many vendors like Red Hat, SUSE, Oracle, etc. They might sound like different operating systems but at the bottom level they all share same Unix skeleton. And once you learn system administration in one flavor, it will not take much time and efforts to gain same level of skill in other flavors. Oh. This is more confusing now. Can you please explain me that which Unix is good one? All these Unix flavors have their own significance and importance in the market. In your case, your question should be, what is good for you? To start your career instead of, which Unix is good? Oops, sorry for wrong question. No worries there is nothing like wrong question while learning. Geetha, can you guide me about, which Unix is good for me to start with? My answer to this question is not based on the value of the each flavor, but just based on the availability to learn and practice each flavor. When we talk about IBM MyX and HP UX, they are purely hardware dependent, and they need to have supported server hardware. This factor makes the learning environment very expensive. And the other ones, like the Oracle Solaris and the Linux, can be installed on our regular home desktop. Hence it is always less expensive to start learning with these two flavors. And by looking at current IT market conditions, I can tell you one thing for sure, you should learn at least two flavors of Unix to get a good job in a short term, and one of them should be Linux. Oh. Is Linux that much popular and powerful? When companies think about Linux it's not the question about the power it's question about the cost of the maintenance. Compared to all other available flavors of Unix. Linux is less expensive and rapidly growing operating system so most of the organizations prefers Linux as server platform for their IT infrastructure. Okay I see. Geetha can you tell one thing, what is the good way to learn system administration for any of these flavors? Can I become system administrator by completing certification course and exam? Well, Certifications for any operating system helps you to explain others that you have good knowledge in overall features and functions of this specific operating system. But, only certification won't help you to understand how those features solves the real-time industry problems related to IT platform environment. It is always good to start with a certification because that gives you a direction to learn about the specific operating system. And in addition to certification you should also focus on real-time problems and the solutions. By simulating real-time problems into your lab environment and by solving those problems, 
You will become good system administrator. That is good information, Geetha. Where can I find more information about system administrator job functions? Mr. Question. In our site GurkholIndia.com, we have a section called Career Guidance, where you can see very good information about the career-oriented questions related to system administration. Please visit the site and become an awesome system administrator. That is fantastic, Geetha. And thank you very much for your advice. You are welcome. Have a good day.